hi guys have you seen this when you hit the animation tab in canva i did you want to play and see what it does come on let's go play all right guys let's get some elements and let's play all right so i want to do this little heart here and i want to do this little finger thing i found so let's go up here and i want to get this finger to look like it's tracing the heart so i'm going to push the animate button and now you can see this create an animation drag elements around to the canvas to create your own animations so we're going to click on that and then it's going to say here select and drag an element around the canvas to create your own animation tips hold shift while dragging to create straight lines. Control the speed of your animation by moving the element faster or slower. Stop dragging the element to complete your animation. So, okay, so if we want something kind of straight, so this will, oh, I don't want to do that one, but okay. Let's, let's, let's. So if you mess up, you can go delete path. So that'll take that out of there. So we want to, we want to do this one. So if I hold down the shift, you see everything's kind of square. And when I let go, it's going to be square. So that would probably be good if you want to pretend like you're tracing letters or something like that with this kind of scenario. Um, all right. So I'm not going to hold the shift key this time. So I'm going to go. Ooh, my ugly heart. It's not very pretty, but it doesn't look that bad. So we also, we have up here, original, smooth, and steady. So that'll help people like me that do not do very well. So that'll kind of smooth it out. So, and here is our speed. You can go faster, which I kind of want to go faster. If we can see it. So let's do smooth. Oh, that looks a little bit better. It kind of helped it out a little bit. And then we got steady. Which I have this big lump. Excuse me. I just perked. I'm a human being. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that helps a whole lot because I do not have a steady hand. Um, but like I said, if you don't like it, delete the path and try again. So we can go. Dun, 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 dun. And still, for me, very wobbly. But the study helps me helps a lot if I do the, it in the study. So let's, I don't want to animate the page, silly. So let's do study and that looks good. So let's try what is this orient, orient, orient element path. Let's see what that does. So it kind of moves the hand around. Let's see if we kind of move her, move the hand this way. And what well, will that moves the whole whole thing there? Um, let's see. Let's speed it up a little bit. Well, that's another thing that we can work with and do. Um, another thing I want to try this for, I've seen it in groups before where people ask, if you ever seen like the real estate uh, shorts or reels and they have like the pictures glide across to show like the living room or something like that. So let's see if we can use that for this because I've never, I could do drift with that, but you had to do drift. You had to do the picture and drift it multiple times across multiple pages to get the whole picture across because drift was so short. It would only do a little bit of the picture. So let's see if we can do a whole picture with this. So let's go and to photos and let's find a full photo here. How about this girl right here? And let's make her big. I'm not going to put it full size just for the fact that I don't want it lock into the background. It's one of the thing, one of my pet peeves about photos in Canva is if you get it big, it's going to lock to the background automatically. Ugh, don't even get me started on that. So let's see. We're going to animate. We're going to use this. So let's, because I want it to go straight across and I don't want none of my wiggly stuff. 
Let's hold the shift key down so we can make a straight line all the way across and see if we can get it to drift all the way across the frame, even though I'm still. All right. Let's smooth it out. Smooth. Come on, play it for me, baby. Play it for me. I think it's still, it's either me or it's still a little laggy. It's brand new. So yeah, so if you were, so if you were, and then I would take it and maybe, let's see, I might chop it a little bit and make it shorter. So when I played it, it won't show the end piece. Or I would, where that end piece comes in, right. Hmm. I would have to work on that a little bit, but I think somehow either with a transition or split. Or let's see. Oh, let's see something else. All right. So we got that. And we want to get to, hold on, we want to get to here. Let's try a trick. Uh, since this is like an experimental slash tutorial, let's split the page here. Go here. And we're going to go to the beginning. Oh, see, it takes it all the way to the beginning. So I would have to download this to get to its last frame here and then re-upload it and then stick another picture behind it maybe or I guess that's just something that's going to be have to be a work in progress because it'll do it but I don't see how to add the sec a second picture in here because let's delete this one delete the page and if we had to do another one where we wanted her and to come in behind it and do the same thing I'll put it here and animate put it here hold the shift key so we can try to make it straight even though I don't do very straight very well ooh, 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 ooh. oh my goodness I'm making a straight line Maybe we'll just take it to here. Oh, it's going to back up on me. Let's delete that path because it's going to back up. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. Let's go all the way across till we hit the end. Yeah, I still suck at that. But okay, we're still working on it. It's a work in progress. But maybe with a little work from you, a little work from me, maybe in the comments or something, we can kind of work something out. Um, I will play some more with this. I hope you play with some more with this. If you get some ticks of uh, ticks, what are ticks? Hello. Tricks you can tell me. Please leave them in the comments. Because I'm I, I want to learn. I I want to learn. I love playing around with this stuff. I want to see if I can make this try to make this somewhere at some point. And if I can really figure it out, I'll make a tutorial on just how to float a picture pictures across. For people like realtors and stuff like that. Because I know it's a question for Canva. And I've never really seen anybody give me a real answer for it. To show those type of movements in here. So that might be something I want to explore. This just came out today. Which it is March 17th. So if you're watching this video later down the road. It might have gotten better. Or gotten some more tips or tricks to tighten it up a little bit. So... I do thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit and playing with this new feature in Canva. I hope you learned a little something. I hope you had a little bit of fun and hopefully I'll see you on the flip flop and come back and we'll do some more. Thank you.